Hello guys in this video, I'm going to show you two of the best AI tools to generate a lot of shots from your long form video. So in this particular video, I'm going to compare them head to head and show you which one is the best and which one you should use to generate short from your long form videos. So in this video, I'm going to introduce you to two AI tools and the first one is Opus Clip. So those of you who doesn't know Opus Clip, Opus Clip is an AI tool that can generate a lot of viral clips from just one long form video. And for the second two, I'm going to compare the Opus Clip to CapCut. Long video to short, which is this particular AI tool. Those of you two who doesn't know CapCut, CapCut is an AI based video editor that lets you edit your videos. And also it's available for desktop and mobile phones. And it also has a web based application that you can use it to edit your videos on the web. So now let's get into the video. So first we are going to use the Opus Clip first, then CapCut's AI to also follow next. So let's go to Opus Clip. So I'm going to put all the links in the description so that it will be easier for you to get access to it. So when you come to Opus Clip, so this is the interface of Opus Clip. And as you can see, you can generate 10 viral clips from just one long form video. Opus Clip also allows you to use either links or just upload your file manually from your computer, which is very useful. So let's say you have a particular video that you have already uploaded on your channel and you want to generate a lot of short to it. There's no need to go and download the video again. All you need to do is to just go to YouTube and copy the link, then come and paste it here and you are good to go. But I have a video on my PC that I'm going to use for this particular tutorial. So let's go to upload files first. So if you haven't signed in, you'll be alerted to sign in. So let's sign in with our Google account. So for free trial, you get 90 free credit valid for seven days and also no credit cards are required and also a full range of features except fast skills. So you get all these for your free trial. So let's get into the video. So click on start clipping. So let me close this particular window. So now we have to import our file to this particular interface. So you click on upload. Then we are going to upload this file. You wait for a while for your file to be uploaded onto the interface and also let push clip AI to do its magic. So let's wait for a while for our video to be uploaded. So now our file has been uploaded. If you come to this particular place, you can select the language, the speech language, but I've leave it at auto because it's already in English. So I will leave it just like that. It will consume 21 credits. So when you are done with everything, then you click on get clips in one click. So you wait for a while for your clips to be generated. So as you can see, our first project is currently in process and about 20%. So you can just fill this thing up or you can just leave it. Now we wait for a while for our clips to be generated. As we are waiting, I'm going to show you CapCut's own. So let's go to CapCut. And when you come to AI tools, you will find long video to short. So you can use this particular AI here on the browser and also this AI too is also available on the desktop version. So I'm going to use the desktop version for this particular video. So before you can do that, unless you download CapCut, so just click on the download button here and follow the prompt to download CapCut onto your computer. So I will open CapCut on my desktop. Then as you can see, you will find long video to short here. So let's click on it. So this particular interface will open. So what you need to do is to upload your file here. So we will click on this particular place. Then we will select our file, the file that you want to use. So this particular interface will also open. And as you can see, this is our video. And this is the timeline here. And also you can set the duration of your shot. So you can set it at auto or less than 60 seconds or 60 seconds to 90 seconds. So you can play around with the duration that you want your shot to be in. So I will just leave it at auto. Then when you're done, you come and click on convert. So you wait for a while for your video to be converted. So let's go back to Opus Clip and see if our video is actually done. So it's still reloading. So let's go to CapCut. So at the moment, our video is being uploaded onto the interface for CapCut AI to work its magic. CapCut has completed generating our shots for us. And as you can see, CapCut generated eight shots from the clip that I uploaded. So as you can see, CapCut has added some captions. So now let's play one video and see how it is. If you hover over it, you'll see this play button here. So just click on it. Notice how different the conversations you're having with yourself become. So as you can see, this particular shot is about two minutes and 56 seconds. This one is three minutes and 51 seconds. So 
When you hover over any shot that CapCut has generated, you will have two options, which is the Export button and the Edit button. So let's click on Edit. And as you can see, this particular interface will pop out. CapCut gives you the opportunity to change your caption style to any style that you want. As you can see, there are a lot of effects here that you can use. And also there are also templates here that you can use. So you can select any template that you want. It's a lot of them. And you can select any template that you want. Let me select this particular template. So just click on it. So now let's close it. And notice how different the conversations you're having with yourself become. I had to realize that the enemy was in my procrastination. As you can see, our caption has been changed. And also, you can place your caption at anywhere that you want. So when you're done with all this, you can come and click on the export button. And it will be exported onto your computer. So here you can select the resolution. You can change the name of your project. Then you can click on the export button. And you are good to go. So let me save it onto my desktop. So while our video is exporting, let's go back to Opus Clip and see what Opus Clip has also generated for us. So let's go to Opus Clip back. So as you can see, our video is done. So let's click on it. So as you can see, Opus Clip has generated a lot of shots here that you can use and upload onto your YouTube channel. And also Opus Clip also has a viral score here. So depending on the video, Opus Clip I will generate a viral score here. So as you can see, this particular video's viral score is 70. And also this one is 65. So let's select one video and see. So I will select this particular video. And this particular interface will open. And as you can see, our video has been transcribed here. So let's play our video and see. I know that people feel the difference of what I'm trying to do. So as you can see, Opus Clip has added a caption, which is a lot better than what CapCut added. But CapCut also gives you the option to also select any caption style that you want. So now when you are done, you just go to this download button here. So you click on it. Then let me click on continue. So your video will be downloaded onto your computer. So. Which tool should you choose for transforming long videos into viral short form content? If you're looking for speed, automation, and efficiency, then Opus Clip is the clear winner. It uses powerful AI to analyze your long form video, pick out the most engaging moments, and turn them into polished, shareable clips in just minutes. With features like automatic B roll insertion, dynamic captions, and keyword based relevance scoring, it's designed for creators who want to repurpose content at scale fast and with minimal effort. But if you're someone who prefers creative control, hands-on editing, and the ability to shape every transition, effect, and cut manually, then CapCut is your best friend. While it may not offer the smart automation that Opus Clip brings, it makes up for it with a full suite of editing tools, trendy visual effects, and the freedom to produce highly customized videos from scratch. Here's the bottom line. If your goal is speed and automation, especially if you're a podcaster, educator, or content marketer trying to convert long videos into multiple clips quickly, then Opus Clip is built for you. On the other hand, if you're a TikToker, short form creator, or editor who wants total control over your visuals and storytelling, CapCut will be your go-to. In fact, for the smartest content workflow, you might even consider using both. Start with Opus Clip to generate quick highlights, then bring those raw clips into CapCut for final polishing, stylizing, and personalization. Smart tools lead to smarter workflows. Now that you know the strengths of both platforms, the choice is yours. So let me know your feedback in the comment section. See you in the next video.